Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be really exciting because first off, it is a book video, which is always fun. Today's video is actually going to be a book haul of all the books I got while I was studying abroad or it was a really short study abroad. Technically, it's a study abroad, but it was only 10 days total. Um, so I actually just got done. I was in London. I got to see six cities in England, but my main place was London. I visited four bookstores and then I shopped in the British Library, had a little gift shop with some books. So that is all the places I went, but I got a grand total of 21 books. I'm only going to show you 20 today. Um, two of them are gifts, but I'll show you the gift for Libby. Um, I'll be giving it to her before this video comes out, so it's not spoiling anything. And the 21st book, I'll like tell you guys what it was, but it was for my boyfriend London. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna get started. I'm gonna tell you guys where I got everything, so I should probably organize them really fast. Um, so that'll take one second. I'm going to be posting a like London vlog soon. I just think that video will take a little bit longer, so um, you guys should see that shortly. I think I got it all organized, so we are just going to go in the order. I will tell you guys all the bookstores, that way you guys can just explore the bookstores in England if you do end up going. This is one of the largest book hauls I've ever done. I think like this is the largest book haul I've ever done or the most amount of books I've bought in one trip. But yeah, the first place I went was the British Library. I love the British Library. I got to see Jane Austen's writing desk and I'm a huge Jane Austen fan. So that was really cool getting to see that. Um, but while I was there, I went to the bookstore and I got three books. So the first one I got is Normal People by Sally Rooney. I actually already own this and um, like have my own copy but i wanted the uk version so bad i actually wanted to buy conversations with friends but i was like no i already have a copy of that i really wanted this cover so i did end up buying a book that i already own um and have already read but i thought it was definitely worth it because i love this cover so much more than the us one so that was my first purchase the next one i read was ghost by dolly alterton this book, I have no idea what it's about. I'm pretty sure it's fiction. I actually read Dolly Alterton's memoir, Everything I Know About Love, earlier um, in the school, like fall semester. And I really enjoyed it. I think I rated it four, four and a half stars or something like that. So I decided I would read her fiction writing. I heard this book is really good, so I'm excited. And then the last book I got from the British Library gift shop was Cleopatra and Frankenstein. This is a new release, so it is hardcover. And I'm pretty sure it's the only hardcover I purchased, which I am very happy about because I prefer paperback. But I was like, I've seen this all over books, uh, Bookgram. And so I decided to pick it up and I'm very excited about it. It seems very intriguing and... I'm excited. Next, when I was in Oxford, we went to the store Blackwell's bookstore, which is this grand, like, four story, I'm pretty sure, um, bookstore that is amazing. It is, like, the place to go, um, in Oxford. And I ended up picking up five books. And I just have to show you guys, like, the colors because I think they look so pretty. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and discuss the books. The first one I got is Women by Chloe Caldwell. I know nothing about this book. It just sounded interesting. So I picked it up. I will read you guys the synopsis. It says, a young woman moves from the countryside to the city and falls in love with another woman for the first time in her life. Is 19 years older than her, wears men's clothes, has a cocky smirk of a smile, and a long-term girlfriend. So it sounded really interesting. It's so short, less than 200 pages. Maybe less than 150 pages. Shorter than 150 pages. I just saw it. It sounded cool. The title interested in me. So I picked that up. Next one I picked up is actually a book that I had on my TBR for a while. And that is Milk Fed by Melissa Bro Border? Bro Broder? I'm not sure. Also, can we like, take a moment for this cover? It's so fun. Um, but yeah, this is Rachel is 24, a lapsed Jew who has made calorie restriction her religion. By day, she maintains an illusion of control by way of this obsessive food rituals. At night, she pedals to nowhere on the elliptical machine. Then she meets Miriam, an Orthodox Jewish woman, intent upon feeding her. 
As the two grow closer, they set in motion a journey marked in appetites, a physical hunger, sexual desire, and spiritual longing. So, it just sounded so good. I actually had originally thought this was a nonfiction book, um, but obviously I found out it was fiction. And I'm very excited about this one as well. Got the bunny. I will say, I think I may like the US cover more because I'm pretty sure it's hot pink. But I mean, the orange is great and I got it in London or I actually got it in Oxford. But yeah, this is supposed to be like a kind of like a academic type book, horror book. I've heard a lot of interesting things about this where when you finish it, you just end up being like, what the heck did I just read? So I am very interested in this and excited to read it. The next book I got is LA Women by um, Eve Babbitts. This is another fiction book by her. I read Sex and Rage in February and I actually really enjoyed her writing. So I thought, um, why not pick this up? This I wanted to get Black Swans, but they didn't have it. This is the only one I saw. This is just over 152 pages. So another little quick read. And the last book I got from Blackwells is My Dark Vanessa. This is actually my current read. I haven't started it, but like this is my next book I'm gonna start. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this. I heard it's really intense. Um, some people think it's like heavier than A Little Life. So I'm very interested into reading it. Um, again, just like on all the books that I recommend, I would definitely check content warnings, but especially for this one. Um, I know this one definitely needs content warnings surrounding like grooming and sexual abuse, but I'm really interested in reading this one. The next bookstore I have is I went to a place called Heifers, which is kind of funny. It's called Heifers, like the cow. It's spelled differently. It just sounds similar. Um, but it was in Cambridge. It was a really cool shop. Again, it was, I think, three stories. It was very, very cool. I ended up getting four books. And, like, I feel like I had a color scheme, like, going on. Anyways, the first one I have is My Lover's Lover. I think this is, like, kind of like a, a contemporary fiction with, like, a small romance in there. The cover definitely spoke to me. Actually, I think I saw the spine and I was just like, that looks really cool. Um, but again, when I read it, it just sounded interesting. I wanted some English writing where, like, I'll show you guys in the next book. What I mean by, like, English writing is the flat share. Like, the flat, instead of, like, the apartment share, it's the flat share. I just wanted something that felt like I was reading, like, English literature, but, like, contemporary English literature. Um, hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, I picked up this romance, The Flat Share. Um, it sounds really interesting. It's where, um, I, I believe it's a woman and a man. They share a flat, obviously. One has it throughout the day hours and one has it throughout the night hours. So they don't really meet each other. They don't know each other. They're just sleeping in the same bed, like, separately. So it's a really interesting concept. Um, something on the back says, a, sleep, a sleepless in Seattle for the 21st century, which I love to uh, I love sleepless in Seattle with Tom Hanks and Megan. I forget her last name all of a sudden. Next one that caught my eye um, on the shelf was The Virgin Suicides. This is where there's five sisters who end up killing themselves. And it's kind of like trying to figure out like why they did it and the backstory on them essentially. But it turns out there's a movie about The Virgin Suicides. Um, so I definitely want to watch that movie after I read the book. Um, and it's funny because My Dark Vanessa, My Dark Vanessa actually mentions The Virgin Suicide. So it's just funny that I ended up getting both of those books. But yeah, this was the next one. And then the last book I got from Heifers was 1984. I've actually never read this book. I know it's super popular. At my high school, one of the classes required this, but I didn't take that class. Um, but I really enjoyed the cover of this. I thought it was great. It kind of picks, it kind of fits my aesthetic. So I'm glad to have this classic and I'll definitely be reading it. I don't know when, but I will read it eventually. Hey guys, the next store I went to, I bought a total of seven, yes, seven books. And this was Topping and Company at Bath, which Bath is actually the setting of Jane Austen's Persuasion. And so of course, like I had to buy books there. Um, but yeah, I bought seven Actually, I realized that I put Libby's book away, so I only have six here, but I did buy seven, and I'll mention the two other books I mentioned, or I'll mention the two other books I bought that were gifts um, at the very end. So I have six right now, but the first one I have is a short story by Sally Rooney. This is Mr. Salary, and it's like not focusing, but I already read this. It was actually really good. I really enjoy uh, Sally Rooney's writing um so when i saw this for three pounds i was like yes please um but yeah i enjoyed this um 
but yeah super simple if you're wanting to like test out sally rooney's writing maybe pick this up it's like 40 pages super super short um yeah enjoy so um two i bought were by atessa um Mashef. i'm not sure how to pronounce her last name but i recently read my ret or my year of rest and relaxation i actually read it before i went on the trip and i really enjoyed her writing again i i actually kind of loved her writing and i i heard and i know that like my year of rest and relaxation is a polarizing novel and so the fact that i enjoyed that i'm sure i will enjoy her other things or her other books so i ended up getting death in her hands and then eileen i know nothing about these two all i know is that they were written by her and i'm sure they'll be great um but i think this is kind of like a christmasy one um but yeah i'm interested in both of these this one i got is all about love by bell hooks this is another book that i had on my tbr and i ended up buying it i've read one book by bell hooks and a few essays i think um but I really enjoyed her writing. She's a feminist, if you guys didn't know that. Um, just a woman's advocate. Um, and I'm interested in reading this. I've seen a lot of quotes and paragraphs from this specific text. So I'm very, very interested to read this. And actually, um, I went to Topping and Company with two of my friends, Major and Ashley, and we actually did a book exchange. So I bought two other books and gifted each one of them one, and they did the same for me. So although I didn't buy these, um, they're kind of like a replacement for the two that I did buy, like I received two, bought two. Hopefully that makes sense. But Major ended up giving me Somebody Loves You by M Mona Archie. Um, I actually already read this. This was such a short book, on, under 150 pages. It's really interesting because it's written in poetry style. Like it's written as chapters, but the chapters are poetry. And it all pertains to one story. I thought it was really good. It was sad. I think I rated it three and a half or four stars um but the cover is also just like so cool and it kind of goes along with the book that ashley got me which is called build your house around my body um it's very interesting because it has a double like timeline it says two young vietnamese women go missing decades apart both are fearless both are lost and both will have their revenge anyways the, sim the stories are very similar and i love historical like shifts so i'm very interested in reading this i think this would maybe be called historical fiction slash thriller but i thought it was so cool because they both got me novels um that kind of like are similar in like the nature vibe and i really enjoyed doing this with them because they're books that i probably would not have bought for myself we are nearing the very end the last bookstore i went to was hatchard's this is in london it's actually the oldest london um bookstore or the long the i think it's a the longest running or the oldest or something like that but yeah it's called hatchards i bought three books this was my last bookstore i went to and i was like i have to max out i only did three i have two to show you guys um the first one is the color purple i've been eyeing this book for probably the past three months and i've just been like oh it's like not on the top but i kept on seeing it at every single bookstore so i was like I'm getting three books um one of them is for london so this is going to be my one so i love this cover i have watched a movie i haven't read the text um but the movie was very it, it was incredible and if you've read the story or watched the movie you just know how impactful it is so i'm definitely interested or i'm definitely excited to actually read the book and um fully get the story last book i bought for myself is called love this is such a short book as well under 120 pages seems very interesting it's fiction it's just called love it the cover spoke to me the title spoke to me it's set in like the 1960s about a woman who's in an abusive relationship and there's also like something going on with the husband's brother um but definitely seemed interesting and again it's a short book that i can just fly through yeah guys those are the 19 books i bought for myself so the two books that i was giving as gifts is first for london he asked for gunslinger by stephen king um i'll insert an image right here but i got that for him it was really cool um and yeah that was one of the books i got and then for my friend libby i got the outlaw i'm pretty yeah. sure it's called i actually got this at topping and company because she had actually told me to go to that bookstore which i'm very thankful for because i got seven books there six for myself one for her but i actually know nothing about this book other than the fact that it sounded so cool i don't know if libby's gonna like it but if she doesn't i definitely want to read it um but it sounded like a feminist like 
woman who's gaining her own thing in a historical context and it's also in Reese's book club which Reese's book club uh, picks are always great but yeah those are all 21 books I got I have so many books surrounding me I am going to take a shower and then go to bed because I'm so jet lagged because it was my first full day back I actually just got done taking a COVID test and it was negative um so I'm very happy about that and I took an exam today and I'm just dead tired thank you guys so much for watching I am so uh I'm so grateful that I got the opportunity to go to London and I had the opportunity to buy all these books I'm so excited to read them I've actually already read two out of the 19 which is kind of fun um but yeah I will talk to you guys very soon. Let me know if you guys have read any of the books that I got, and if so, which one's your favorite, or the books that you're currently reading. Let me know. I'll see you guys very soon. Peace and love. Bye, guys.